And uh, what was your reaction when you got traded? Um, I was, um, you know, excited for the new opportunity and uh, excited to work with Coach McDaniel and uh, Tua and uh, play alongside Waddle and, and Tyreek and, and a bunch of good receivers. Did you know any, any of the guys before you came here? So. Uh, I knew Durham and Liam. I uh, went to school with them at Notre Dame, so uh, excited to have some familiar faces, especially on the offense side of the ball. What have they told you about the offense and maybe the complexity of it? And how long do you think it'll take for you to kind of get up to speed? And be up? Um, you know, there's a lot of motion shifts, uh, two motions, you know, before the, the ball snapped. Um, and, you know, I've been doing a lot of studying, and I don't think it'll be uh, too long. It is a complex playbook, but uh, I feel pretty good, especially this first day of practice. Chase, I know that this is a new journey for you, but there was obviously, obviously a lot of talk about the way things ended in Chicago. Like, what, what do you want people to know about that and just about the person that you want? Yeah, I think I just, um, you know, be the same person I've been um, in terms of like being a teammate. Um, you know, I know I'm a good teammate and uh, just, you know, don't have to do anything extra to like, you know, don't have to do too much to try and prove that. Just, you know, be myself, and uh, and I'm excited uh, about being around a new group of guys and uh, showing them what I can do. Just want to go down and say it's a clean slate. New players come in. It's a big former Notre Dame teammates and a full backing from you. What does that say to you when you do Yeah, that just shows, like, you know, they know the guy um, that I am, and I always appreciate when, uh, you know, former teammates have my back, like, you know, Justin and the other guys in the locker room in Chicago and then Notre Dame guys, because um, I think that's like the true test now of uh, the person you are is when your former teammates talk about you in a good way. Chase, you're a bit bigger than some of the other receivers. Blocking is a key element in this offense. How would you describe your approach to blocking? I love it. I mean, um, you know, it's really fun for me um, and just trying to polish that every day and, and become a better blocker, especially in the interior and uh, going against bigger guys like DNs or with linebackers and stuff, and uh, trying to make the most of those opportunities as well. Hey, what do you think when you come to their offense? Do you see what they've been doing here in the first few weeks? Yeah, just being any, um, just just being a piece um, in, in a big puzzle to you know a lot of moving pieces, and you know trying to make this offense better than uh, than it is, and and anything I can do to do that um, is is an awesome opportunity for me, and really excited about that, and uh, excited to be a part of it. You got the numbers, the numbers. Right? Right, so um, you know, just make sure um, that I do my job uh, the right way and full speed, and and I know they'll put me in uh, positions to help the offense. And yeah, I believe you're you're on the sideline Sunday, right? Yeah. yeah. What was it like watching all that speed up close and knowing hey, I got I got to get in this? It was a lot of fun, really exciting, um, and uh, yeah, it just got me excited to be a part of it. Um, you know, I was itching to go out there and, uh, you know, see it firsthand. But uh, just watching it from the sidelines was, was super fun. What are your first impressions of Coach McDaniel, a uh, very unique guy, unique head coach? Yeah, very, like, uh, I want to say, like, laid back, but, like, you know, has, like, a – he's able to, like, uh, coach really hard in a, in, a, in a good way or he doesn't feel like he's hounding you. And, like, he's very informative and uh, he's just super smart. You can tell by, by the way he talks. He knows exactly what he's talking about and makes the game – and practice a lot easier. Chase, what do, you, what do you think went wrong in Chicago? Why do you think it's going to be better here? Um, you know, I just um, I think that uh, when you lose like a lot of games in a row, there's frustration um, naturally. I think uh, you know that's new for everybody. I'm sure um, from the top down. So I think just uh, being excited, um, you know, about like you know getting some wins and stuff like that. I think that just comes naturally. And and once you start winning, uh, you know, things start getting less frustrating, obviously.